Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a how-to video and I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought it would be fun. I'm also going to give you an update on Simbono's response yesterday to my email with all the photographs that I supplied because I am impressed with the speed of their response as well as their solution, I think. And I'll let you in on that here in a minute. I am wearing the same clothes I wore for the video last night. I actually slept in this outfit and I wanted to show you how good it looks despite the fact that I slept in it. Yes, I did. This is one of the dresses I recommended to you that I found on Amazon and I have bought it in red, black, magenta. I can't remember the name of the blue, but it's like a bright royal blue and then this green color. And I was going to change just because it's morning. It's a different day. I didn't want you to see me in the same shirt and be like, she's much happier now. Why is she wearing the same clothes? It just seemed a little confusing, but the bags that I'm showing you today, they look really the best with this color or perhaps with my blue dress. But my blue dress is wet because I've discovered with these dresses that you have to color lock them before you wear them or they will get on everything. They're like $25, which is a fantastic deal, but my footstool became pink after I sat on it to do a video in the red dress. And I was able to get that out, luckily, but since then I have been color locking by soaking the dresses in vinegar and salt for half a day and then rinsing them to basically set the color in. And then I spray them with Colonel Carbon Pro to double lock the color in so that I don't get it on any of my beautiful handbags. So what I wanna show you today is this gorgeous bag. So this is the Pillow Madison in, I believe the color is called light coral, but it may be just called coral. Anyway, this bag has been featured recently on my video, Coach Bags I Would Secretly Sleep With. And that's not anything dirty. It means like literally they're soft like a pillow. And so you've seen this one recently, but you haven't seen it when it has a top handle. And yes, that's correct. I created a top handle for this bag and I'm going to show you how. Now, this is not my idea. I originally saw it on Amy Elizabeth's YouTube channel and I can link her channel below, but I thought maybe not all of you watch her channel. You should, it's very good. But if you didn't, you might not have seen this before. So it's really simple to do. And I thought that it would be very uncomfortable to wear the bag on the shoulder this way, because when I try to wear the bag crossbody with one strap, it is not comfortable at all. But actually with this style, if you shorten the strap and it hits you not on the hip at an angle with the strap going across your body, but rather on the shoulder, in basically where you curve in for your waist, it's pretty comfortable. Not as good as two straps, but if you love this look and you love the look of the Chanel 19, which brings this bag even closer to that look, then this might be a good option for you. And you can wear it on the crook of your arm, which I will display here in a moment. So let me show you exactly how I did this. If you see here, there is a little mechanism that you can buy on Amazon or Etsy in packs with multiples. I got a pack that basically screws on and off instead of rotating that center bar. You've got to unscrew it and then pull it out and then you can slide it in between the chain and the leather. Now I will tell you, I'll link the one I got, but the screw mechanism doesn't work the best for holding it in place. I can, this is screwed as tight as it can go and I can move it with my fingers to open it up. So maybe just doing one of the ones with the hinge on it would be fine because I'm not sure that the screw option 
gives you a big advantage. I just don't know. I got the screw option because I did read on the ones that have hinges. And this is what mine look like, by the way. I did read that on the ones that have hinges that sometimes people would have them fall off and they would lose them. But to me, these are so cheap. You know, if it falls off, what's the worst that's going to happen? Your, your top handle strap will basically drop longer or if you're carrying it on the shoulder it will basically drop longer and that little piece may be laying on the inside of your bag so it is what it is it seems pretty secure with the one that i have i mean i can move it but it doesn't seem to be moving much on its own so i don't think i'm gonna go on a big hunt to find a better little swivel clasp. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this looks. So again, I slept in this dress. I washed it, I hung it up, and I did not steam it, iron it, any anything like that. Then I slept in it. And despite that, there are very few wrinkles on it. And like I said, I got it, I have it in the red and the black. And then the magenta and the blue are hanging in my laundry room. Look how cute this bag looks as a long shoulder bag. And it's really comfortable in this position. Now, when you wear it crossbody, it does dig right here. But for me anyway, and the bag is empty right now, it may all go out the window and be uncomfortable when it has stuff in it. But for me, this isn't bad. And so if you're willing to make a little sacrifice to get this look, then by all means do it. Sorry, my dogs are barking. And look how adorable it looks like that. See, the Chanel 19 has a grab handle and a lot of people like to grab their bags in the car and pull them out. So this little hack lets you do that. And by the way, I'm going to categorize this video under my handbag care playlist. I should probably add to the playlist title, handbag care tips and tricks because I also have things that aren't really necessarily about caring for your bag, but just hacks like how to strengthen your magnet, etc. So I will link that playlist in the description box and I'll link this little piece here. But again, I'm not sure I would recommend the one that I got. It's not bad, but I can still open and close it with my fingers. I guess I might have stripped the screw in the process of tightening it. Some of those little sets like this come with a screwdriver. I carry around a little eyeglass screwdriver like this in my, in my purse, just in case. I never use it, but the one time I don't, then my glasses are gonna fall apart and I'm not gonna be able to fix them. So I think that's a cool little hack. You'll have to let me know what you think. I know some of you have already tried it and told me that you love it. If you have a link that you can stick in the description box of the ones you got, if you're happy with them, that would be fantastic. Cause like I said, I'm a little underwhelmed with the ones I picked out because when they're screwed tight, I can still move that bar, but it seems to be holding and it's such a cute look. I like it. Anyway, on to the Simbono part of the video. So I was going to give this bag away for my 3000 subscriber giveaway, and I'm not going to anymore. And the reason why I'm not going to is because after my video that I posted yesterday promoting this bag as well as the Amelia bag in the blue croc, I just don't feel comfortable giving this away, not knowing how well it's going to hold up. So I have another brand that I'm communicating with that possibly may provide that third bag to give away as part of my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I was hoping to give away one bag per thousand subscribers. So I decided to use this bag because I'm gonna test it out. After I discovered the issue yesterday with the Amelia bag, what I did is I emailed Sinbono with all of the photographs and I actually had a subscriber email me a photograph of her purple Amelia bag and it had one spot with the same kind of issue. So Simbono replied back overnight. I believe that they're not here within the continental United States. So usually I will get a reply from them overnight. And 
they were very apologetic. They offered to send me a new bag. They told me that they had pulled all of the blue and the purple Amelia bags from the website so you can't order them and that they're going to inspect them all. And I appreciate the very quick response. And they offered to send me another bag. And my initial thought was maybe I should get a different style, one that doesn't have the glazing where the ring rubs up against it. But then I thought, no, I think I should try another color because I really loved the bag. And if it's an issue with the Amelia bag line as a whole, I don't want to recommend anybody to buy that. And the only way to know it is to try another color because I had my blue one that had issues. My subscriber had a purple one that had issues. So I figured if I got a white one or an ivory one and it has issues, then I would steer clear of that style. Given that this item is not going to be part of the giveaway anymore. I put my stuff in it and plan to use it for, let's say, a good five or six days to see if it has any issues. The difference is, is that the glazing on this bag doesn't rub up against something like the ring where you attach the strap on the other bag. And so I am not sure that it's going to have the same issue. Also, the bits of glazing here are much thinner in terms of application than the ones on the Amelia bag that had thicker lines of glazing. But there is glazing along the front edge here, down the corner, around the top, all the way to the top piece. And you can see on the other side, which is the front side, there is not glazing around the sides, but there is some still right up here where the magnetic clasp is. So I'm very curious to see if I have any issues and if they do send me a new Amelia bag, I plan to review that bag only after I have used it for at least a few days to establish that the same thing doesn't happen that happened to me yesterday. And when all that is said and done, I will come back and I will give you another update. Whether or not they send me an Amelia bag, I will update you as to this bag and how well it holds up. And that's what I have to say. I, I will apologize one more time. I'm really sorry I recommended those two bags and then had to come back with a retraction, at least for the Amelia bag. I didn't think in a million years I would have an issue because Sinbono has been giving bags to YouTubers who promote handbags for a long time while and several of them that I follow have not indicated that they've had any issues. That said, they have went with this style and they haven't had issues with this style. So I kind of like that I'm trying a different style and I would love to be able to share with you if it's okay if you pick a different color. And I also feel like I need to share with you if it's not okay. So I'm using this one. It's pretty darn functional. I figured out I like to leave the zippers a little open. I can put my hand inside. I have plenty of space for all of my stuff. No issues with fitting it, but I do like to zip the zippers down just a little bit. That way I can stick my hand in, grab my phone, grab whatever, and I don't have to undo this and then unzip. I can't leave the zippers all the way up at the top because then they rattle. But as long as they're resting on the edge of the bag there, it's fine. And the chains that I was showing you the other day that didn't come with this bag or the silver one that I got extra from Simbono, the golden chains were all from Samorga. And Samorga chains are plated in 22 karat gold and they and they are a little yellow for my other bags and i haven't been using them because of that even though they are just gorgeous so i am excited that my samorga chains look so good with the hardware on the Sinbono bags and that's why i indicated that the hardware looks like it's 22 karat gold plated and i don't think it probably is but the match to the samorga chains which are 22 karat gold plated is fantastic. I do think the chains on the Simbono website seem a very nice quality and they are much cheaper than Samorga chains. I kind of got in a little Samorga frenzy and ordered a whole ton of their chains, which are 
well designed and I really like except for the fact that the gold is a little too yellow. That's so long-winded, sorry, but you know I'm the crazy strap lady so there you go. I like Next Fashion Chains better than Samorga for their lighter color of gold. The Next Fashion brand is the one I would recommend if you don't want a yellow yellow gold. The chains from from Next Fashion are super nice and the prices are fantastic. But if you do want a really high quality yellow gold chain, then Samorga is a great way to go. And I don't work with Samorga. I'm not getting anything out of that. But, you know, I just want you guys to find the best options for your bags. So whether you get the chain from Samorga or Next Fashion or buy them from Simbono, you got options. That is my update. I hope this helps anybody out there. I will put my link for Simbono in the description box, but at this point I cannot recommend this brand until I test it further. But if you want to test it yourself, the customer service seems fantastic. I think they will take care of you if you do have an issue. So I will go ahead and I will put my website link and my discount code, which is 26% off, if you want to try something. And if you do try something, I'd probably hold off on getting an Amelia bag till I test the one that I think they're going to send me out. I would probably lean more towards getting one of the bags that's this shape and steer clear of the shoulder one because the shoulder one has little rings on each side with the chain. I'd stick with like the regular size or the medium size because they're designed the same and a ton of people have them and haven't had issues. I guess that's it. I know this has gotten to be a bit long-winded. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.